there's this idea that there are exercises on the pull-up bar for all muscle groups. The truth is that pull-up bar workouts really hit a lot of muscles, but some of them either don't get worked at all or get a very light workout. In this video, we'll go over which muscle groups the pull-up bar helps to develop and which exercises you should do. So, watch it all the way through. It'll be informative. There are a bunch of pull-up bar exercises, but none of them target leg muscles. Legs don't get a workout on the pull-up bar, no matter what grip you use. To work out your legs on the pull-up bar, you'd need to grab the bar with your foot and pull up using your legs, something only monkeys can do. Humans probably can't pull that off. Our feet aren't made for gripping, unlike the lower limbs of monkeys. To look balanced and lead an active life, it's important to train leg muscles. The pull-up bar won't help with that, so go for separate exercises for the lower part of your body. With legs, it's straightforward, but what muscles can the pull-up bar develop in general? There are quite a few. Here's a list of muscle groups that you can work on with the pull-up bar. Wings or latissimus dorsi muscles along the whole length, upper back or trapezius, shoulders or deltoids, biceps or arm flexors, and straight and oblique abdominal muscles. During an exercise like the muscle up, you can work on arm extenders and slightly engaged chest muscles. Generally, exercises on parallel bars are better for triceps and chest. Parallel bars are usually always available where there's a pull-up bar, so finding this equipment for you shouldn't be difficult. If you want to tone your torso, you can combine pull-up bar exercises with push-ups using different techniques. At the same time, train your legs in a way that suits you. If you just want to improve leg endurance and definition, you can use a bike, go for a run, and do squats with your own weight. If you specifically want to build up your leg muscles, then use a barbell or leg press. There's a huge variety of pull-up bar exercises today. Let's look at the most popular ones. Pull-ups with a medium grip. A medium grip means the distance between your hands on the pull-up bar is 12 to 16 inches. Usually, hands are placed slightly wider than the shoulders. The first exercise is pulling up with a straight grip. With palms facing away, grab the bar and pull up. The next pull-up bar exercise is pulling up with a reverse grip. The distance between your hands is the same as before. These methods evenly work out back muscles and biceps. Wide grip pull-ups. Exercises on the pull-up bar for widening your back are done with a wide grip. Use a straight grip. For most people, this element seems tough. They can't pull up in a way that their chin rises above the bar, and that's due to weak latissimus dorsi. In this position, most of the load shifts to the wings. Strong biceps won't help in this situation. Narrow reverse grip pull-ups. The next element that can be part of pull-up bar exercises is narrow reverse grip pull-ups. This option is the easiest and mainly involves the biceps. Some people do this variation of pull-ups solely using their biceps. This is noticeable from the short range of pull-ups where elbows hardly move relative to the torso. Neutral grip. You can practice a neutral grip on horizontal bars with your head passing between the cross elements. A neutral grip gives a good advantage for pumping wings. In this case, the wings work in their full length because the arm's movement trajectory is as natural as possible for the latissimus dorsi one-arm pull-ups. If the number of pull-ups in one set has gone over 30, it's time to think about one-arm pull-ups. As a regular exercise, this element isn't suitable. The load on the biceps is too much. Muscle-ups. A muscle-up is an exercise, a couple of sets of which you'll be able to do in just a few months after regular pull-ups. The main thing is to consistently engage and do everything with the right technique. For instance, if your arms are strong, but your back is weak, it'll be tough for you to pull yourself above the bar. And if your triceps are weak too, you won't be able to push off the bar to finish the exercise. 
So, a muscle up shouldn't be at the start of your workout plan. You've got to get your body ready for this exercise. Muscle ups can be done with one arm or both. The basic move is to start with one arm and then move to the other. You'll learn to do simultaneous muscle ups later. When doing stuff on the pull up bar, whether it's pull ups or gymnastics, the person's weight matters. It's just easier to work with a weight of 130 to 165 pounds than over 200. Less chance of getting hurt, and you can pick up the basic moves quicker. Working on those abs. You can train your AB muscles on the pull-up bar. All ab exercises are done hanging. There are a few ways to do this training. First, lifting bent knees. Second, lifting straight legs. Third, pull-ups with straight legs raised. Pulling up with bent legs is risky. If you slip, you might land on your tailbone instead of your feet. This could lead to tailbone fractures or back injuries. Fourth, making circles or semicircles with your legs. The heavier your legs, the more strain on your abs. It mostly works the lower abs and the upper front thighs. You'll feel it when you try any of these leg lifts. The easiest and safest way to work your abs is lifting your legs with bent knees. Just avoid swinging like a pendulum. Otherwise, inertia gets in the way. And for the most effective AB exercise on the bar, try making semicircles or circles with straight legs. And what about your favorite pull-up bar exercises? Share your experience in the comments. Friends, we suggest you watch another one of our videos where we talk about top five vitamins for muscle growth. It'll pop up on your screen and the link will be in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching this video all the way through. If it was interesting, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. There's more useful info coming. Until next time.